it's time to change the radiator. Um, one of the, well, because we got some holes in it, and the reason why we had the holes was because we mounted the fan directly onto the radiator per the instructions, but it kept shaking around too much and it kept poking holes in it. So what we ended up doing is we had to put some JV weld um, here and then down here, but um, as it over the years, as this thing aged a little bit, it just started leaking everywhere. So we figured it'd be best just to get a new radiator. So now we're gonna pull out the new radiator, and it's from a 1991 Honda Civic. Uh, you see other people use these all the time. They're fairly cheap and they have a good size to them. So we're gonna get popped in. So these are our completed A-arms. They turned out awesome. One of the things I wanted to talk about was these two cross members in here. Now you might look at it and go, okay, why would you put a bend in it? Well, one of the reasons we put the slight bend in it is so we can mate each tube at a 90. If we made them at a 90, you don't need to notch one inch tubing. You can just fill the gap with a weld. So, we, and sometimes the top A-arm um, we came about that by accident. The top A arm, you put the notch in because sometimes you need shock clearance. So that that's originally what happened. And when we did it the first time, it, we went, hey, that's easy. Let's do that all the time. So one of the things I wanted to show, wasn't clear on the other video, why we have this dip here and why these are spaced. Uh, I'll put this in, bolt in, but the air is going to sit like this. Uh, as this comes down, if we don't have that clearance, that bell will hit in here. So we did the testing to make sure that we can clear that bell. Um, so that's about the closest we could get these apart uh, with our geometry. So I just wanted to show that quickly.